Hello everyone and welcome back to Computer Science for Everyone. In this video we're finally going to finish our tree and we're going to start um, creating the menu here and letting the user run our program and find and delete nodes and finally exit our program. In order to create this controller we're going to go to the um, Q controller, open that up and I'm just going to copy that and paste it in my controller and then I'm going to change a few things. Instead of the queue, of course, we're going to put a tree. Um, and that's going to be called customers. That's fine, because they are customers after all. The ask input is the same. We're going to add, remove, or find nodes, or quit the program. Run menu is fine. Instead of forward person, I'm going to rename this method to delete. And down here, I'm going to rename it to delete. And here, instead of pop, the method is delete, and it takes an ID. So we're going to need to... get that ID going so this is how we get the customer's ID by creating a scanner printing out to enter the customer ID and then getting the ID in the next end and passing it over to our trees delete method ask node is going to be a bit different as well because the node apart from a name and a phone of course takes an ID as well so um, we're going to have to copy that and get the ID here. And instead of push, it's add node. Um, finally, find takes an ID instead of a name. And of course, ID needs a next int here. This changes for ID. And finally, the print details, uh, instead of printing the next node, we want to print the right and left node. So we copy that, paste that here. And apart from the left and right, I also want to print the ID out. And brackets. Okay, like so. that. Okay. So there are two errors right now. One of them is one I did in the previous video, or actually two videos ago, and I'm sorry about that. Um, and this is the tree class, and the error was in the find rightmost. Um, we got the starting node, and from here, from the starting node, we would find the rightmost node. And then we got here the marker to be initialized at the left of the start node whereas we do not want that we just want to be the start of the tr subtree because in the delete method later on when we were finding the rightmost we were calling to delete the get left so we were starting to the find of the rightmost node in the left of the tree in the in the left subtree of to delete. So this is why we don't want to call get left here and then again in the find rightmost method. So this is one of the errors and I'm sorry about that. Um it's just one small change there. Um I realized a bit late, sadly. Um and the other error is it's not really an error, it's simply um a design uh, an interesting bit of design. Um see how our tree starts with the null root. So when we're adding things, we give it the new node and the parent. When we call add new, we give it the new node and the root. If the root is null when the tree is originally empty, calling with the root here will bring it up to the parent and then it will run parent.getID but parent will be null because the tree is initially null. So we'll get an error here. What we want to do 
is in our ask node, instead of just add, we want to do it this way, and I'll explain what I'm doing in a second. If the customer's tree is empty, instead of add a new node, we want to set the root to be the new node. If it is not empty, we want to add a new node. And this is because of what I've just said. If we add a node, but the tree is empty, the root is null. And then when we call the add with a root method, with a root node, we the first thing we'll do is try to get the ID of the root. But if it is null, we'll get an error instead of an ID. And we don't want that. So this is what we want to do there. Okay, so this is that. Let's try to press play and see what happens. We get our nice menu here. A is going to let us add. And I am going to copy this onto here. It's going to take a, a couple seconds. Uh, the customer name, let's use mine. That's ID 8, then 6. Then 2. Then seven, then one, three, and four, I can't be bothered thinking of any more names, I'm sorry. Okay, and finally let's add the ten, that's at the top right. Okay, so we have eight, six, seven, two, one, three, four, and ten. Let's find, for example, eight is our root, and has six and seven at the sides. Six and seven, uh, six and ten rather, which is what we have here. Find six, two and seven. That's perfect. Let's find two. Has one and three. Let's find three. It just has four at the right. Perfect. So perfect. That is actually what we wanted. Let's try to remove six because we've worked with that before. So remove six. And now what should happen is that we should have this as four and that as nothing. This is what the tree should look like. Let's try to see. Let's find eight first. Well, we have 4 and 10 there, so this is a step forward. Let's find 4 now and see what it gives us. 2 and 7, so there we have it. This is our binary tree already working. So it has 4, it has 2 and 7. Let's find 2. 2 has 1 and 3, and that's perfect. Let's try to remove the root. And now what should have happened is that 3 should be the root. So 3, should, instead of being there, this is the rightmost node. Uh, actually, no, it should be 7, sorry. Um, this is the rightmost node of the left subtree, not 3. 7 should be here. So let's try to find 7. And we see it's pointing to 4 and 10. So there we go. Congratulations, if you've understood all of this. It is complicated. I've made a couple of mistakes as well. I'm really sorry about that. But uh, sometimes it's really complicated to explain and not make any mistake. Um, so hopefully that was okay for you. I know it's really complicated. I know in the beginning you can't visualize the binary tree in your head. So you need to draw it. That's okay. I've also had to draw them sometimes when I found some bug and I, and I didn't know what to do with it. And I had to draw it and test it. And I really suggest you draw it as well. Try to program it yourself. Try to draw what's happening. Try to understand why things are the way they are. And once you do that, we can move on to the last section of this course. And soon it will be the end of the course um, where we'll study a file input and output. Um, and that is a lot simpler than um, binary trees. So thank you for sticking with me until now. Let's go into the very last section and then We'll say our goodbyes, so I'll see you there.